while machinery in various stages of decay provided Minton with structures more tangible than pure landscape and is also a symbol of man's intrusion into nature. In 1947, Minton went to Corsica to illustrate a travel book by Alan Ross, Time Was Away. This series of drawings is his greatest achievement as an illustrator, and as commercial art began to dominate his output, he became very much in demand. In his later years, he also painted a series of portraits of various friends, which, though technically masterful, seemed to lack the emotional commitment of his earlier work. By the 50s, Minton had become a symbol of the generation of angry young men and was constantly surrounded by friends and admirers. His generosity was unfailing, but often misplaced and abused by many. The paradox of his life was that he both needed and despised this cheap popularity. The fear of rejection had always been with him. In a school essay on night, he writes, Man hates endings. Every time the red sun fades, he has lost one day of his life, and he loves life. He hates the moon. It turns his beloved trees into ghostly shapes. Coldly it gazes at him.
he made illustrations for an English translation of Alain Fournier's Le Grand Mot, which poetically evokes something of the loneliness and sense of rejection he felt as a boarder at Reading School. As he continues, a man likes the light and the warm sun. He likes to see the green trees and the yellow corn. He would like to gaze at them forever and learn the mystery of nature. During the war and just after it, Minton's romantic style was immensely successful, especially in illustrations and watercolors. He was a popular and well-known personality and an excellent teacher at the Royal College of Art. But during the 50s, artists turned away from the English tradition and followed the latest styles of France and America, and Minton's popularity ebbed away. Once more, he found himself isolated, and his last exhibition was a failure. His last painting, the death of James Dean is the culmination of his feelings of desperation and the nearness of death. He said, I have nothing more to paint. On January the 22nd, 1957, John Minton was found collapsed in his Chelsea studio. He had taken an overdose of barbiturates and he died later in hospital. He was just 39 years old. Many people felt pain at witnessing his slow and tragic decline, for his generous and brilliant character had endeared him to an entire generation. <laughs> 